began as my solo thing, like maybe uh, seven years ago or something. Mm -hmm. I was living in London. Uh, I was going to go to art school in London. I got really sick. And long story short, I ended up going to the hospital and got lots of like, insurance money for it. Yeah. So for the insurance money, I bought like, an acoustic guitar and a microphone <laughs> and some like basic recording gear. And then when I got, and then I moved back to Iceland, went to art school there. I kind of just started experimenting with recording my own songs, yeah. writing, write, writing, writing some shit, different songs, recording them. And it ends up that I did the EP that gave away free on the internet. I did a split EP with actually a band that I saw play here four years ago. It's an American band called Grizzly Bear. Okay. And we did a seven inch together, like there was one Seeker song and one Grizzly Bear song and the other. Yeah. So I was offered to play live in Berlin, 2005 or 6. And I had never played live before or something, so I asked like two of my friends to come play with me. And then I was asked to play at the festival, so I asked more friends to play with me, and then we just ended up being like seven people in the band. So pretty much since I started listening to music with the uh, enthusiasm, uh, it was for American bands. Probably one of the reasons why why we the, why the music is kind of Americana, yeah. kind of something. I don't know. So it's very something. It's hard to listen to your music because you don't. People hear it in a much different way than you. Certainly. And then that someone else just tells me what kind of yeah. genre it is. The community of musicians is very helpful with each other. Yeah. Now they, uh, no, I don't really, I've never really felt any sort of competition in Iceland. It's more of, you know, you're always happy when another Icelandic band is doing well. But I think. People seem to uh, feel that Icelandic music has some sort of, that they can hear that it, it's from Iceland. And maybe it's just the, the people from the outside have a better perspective on the music or something. They can mm. hear something that we can't or something. Yeah. But in music and like and art stuff, I don't, my policy is not to, I don't like to think too much. Yeah. I just do what I want to do, and I don't really think about why I want to do that, but I just do it. Mm. That makes me... Well, I like to work like that. Uh, more, I'd like to think more of like a inner landscape or something, like imagination. Yeah. From some, I, I like music to come from, uh, not from a real place, made more mm. from uh, imagination. Yeah.